22. Let's just say it together now. 22 of part two. Oh. What we're gonna do is we're gonna finish up part, you know, from part one earlier today. I fell asleep, man. <laughs> I fell asleep. So it'll be relatively quick because I got a, another one I have to do because I got I got some really cool stuff. But I hope when you guys I haven't checked yet. I hope some of you guys maybe possibly um, did what I ask about these, these boxes, man. You're down to the last 24, 24. So um, I'm putting together a, a, a box for a friend of mine, her son, he collects. And um, I'm putting them together a nice little package, um, about 200 cards. See, you know, uh, I gotta do is ask. <laughs> but uh, they're not just any cards, they're good, they're ec excellent condition cards, first of all, ready to be graded type, like, I mean, literally, I've cleaned them and the whole nine yards. I'm gonna get about 200, I'm gonna put them in the little box that uh, Miami gave me. But, um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna finish going through uh, what we started, which was out of that box, and then I got the mystery pack. So let me move these over. Man, I got cards everywhere, man. I mean, if I, you were to see this. <laughs> oh man, you guys gotta start taking some of this stuff. I just kind of woke up to a little bit, so. Um, I'm, I'm kind of fog headed, so I need my uh, my adrenaline sugar rush, man, my insulin rush. So um, I got a big bag of jelly beans. Yeah, jelly beans rock, man. So anyway, um, look good. Nice. Right. Right, now. Yeah. We got a mixture of combination of cards. Still from the oh wow man. Holy shit. We're gonna come to a good one. From the box that Miami sent me. So it's gonna be a short one. Real short. So I know I can't talk in my mouth. <laughs> Don't make me laugh. Um, I had something to show you guys, but I don't know what the fuck it was. I'm a like I said. Anyways, Stephen Piscotti. Paul Blackburn. Now another good, look at the positioning, look at, I mean, look at that form, man, that form is incredible. Some of these pictures, man, I just, I like them just because they know, I don't know, they just, you could tell that they've had their, um, you know, when they were taught how to pitch after they thought they knew how to pitch out of high school, and then they got retaught again, because most of them do, they think they know it all, coming right out of high school. That's not the case at all. But they learn. And <laughs> God damn. Oh crap. But they learn. And and then and some some of it the etiquette um sticks and some of it it dissipates. It just you know it doesn't mean that they want to do it their way. And those are the guys, you know, who want to do it their way all the time. Okay, who's calling now? <laughs> All right, whoever. I don't know who the hell that was. Well, I should always, you know, when I'm doing this, you know what I'm saying? Um, Josh Hatter. But it's those guys who don't, you know, keep them old school, I don't know what you call them, rules or etiquette or whatever. That fade away, man, relatively quick in this, you know, sport. So... Um, David Boat, Bot, how you how you pronounce it? Chad Green, Yankees. <laughs> so, um, very quick, I want to say hi to my daughter. Hey, Maddie. Um, 
Good for your mom. Remember, can't do no wrong in my eyes. And I don't think you can in your mom's eyes either. So, you make people, we make mistakes. And things happen that are, aren't in our control. And sometimes we just do dumb shit. <laughs> Ask me, I'm a dumb expert. <laughs> so, hey, Pumpkin, I love you. Remember that. So, um, Jonathan Villar. Very much, by the way. down right here there we go Carlos Roden oh man look at that look at that oh sorry look at this Francisco Lindor but look at look at these how he's rounding he's rounding second it looks like hey you know it's expected I whack him out of the park you know what I say? good for you Frankie he's ours I hope we don't leave I hope the Indians give him what he wants and the whole nine yards when the time comes um, someone, John Gray, rocking the Clevenger. Good release, by the way. Good release for him. I like that. Um, so, um, let me see here. Tommy Fam. Hey, yo, Fam. What's up? Where my peeps at? <laughs> uh, what the hell is going on with this? Here we go. Get that out of there. All right. Adam Jones, otherwise known as Addie Jones, like me. Addie. You know, I got that nickname in high school from a, a, a friend of mine, uh, Rachel Phillips, gave it to me. Uh, she, uh, it stuck. <laughs> it stuck ever since. And, you know, I'm not, I'm not, oh, I almost told you, well, you already know my age. But it's still stuck all these years later, all these decades later. It's still with me, you know. And it's, you know, I don't know. I just, I like it, you know. It's, some people don't like to be called nicknames. Some people don't, you know, hey, 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 man. Go get, um, don't call me out my name. <laughs> what? Man, we used to call you, you know, did you, did, but that was back then. This is now. You ain't no different, mofo. <laughs> you still going to jail. <laughs> you ain't your age. But I have. <laughs> Not that I went to jail or anything. <laughs> so anyways, um, Khalib Joseph. No, people change. Some people like their uh, nicknames still. Some people don't. I don't know. I'm one of those guys that do. I got a couple of nicknames, actually. Um, I got Woodstock. That's a, that's, a, that's a doozy how I got that one. You wouldn't believe me if I told you, so I'm not even going to told you. But you would believe me if I told you who I went to school with. I went to school with quite a few cool, you know, people who... Got big. So, but this one you wouldn't believe, so I'm not even going to say nothing. Um, there's only a few people out there that, you know, in my uh, high school uh, graduating class that know that, you know, what my nickname was and who gave it to me. So, there you go. Oh, I'm sorry, Trevor Williams. Hey, I'm still waking up. Oof. I need a nap. You ever just get real tired out of the blue, like... Like exhaust, like fatigued, mentally exhausted, just drained. You know, just forget to change your shirt for two days <laughs> straight. <laughs> Blake Parker, yeah, metal rules, punk, yeah, pit, pit, everybody pit, pit, everybody pit, pit. <laughs> That'd be cool. <laughs> Tanner Rourke. Um, yeah, very river Baez. That's a nice picture, man. That's a good, I like that, man. That's a sweet picture. That could be almost like a, like a picture, big picture, like a poster type size. Josh Harrison. It's another good picture, man. I like some of these shots that they have on these cards. Um, James Shields. It's a pinnacle, too. I ain't seen Pinnacle. Oh! And one of my all-time favorites. Pictures of all times. Story about this guy right here. He's got a great, great comeback story. I met him quite a few times, actually. Dennis Ekrosi. We all know that. You know, he's in recovery. And um, he supports 
you know, uh, 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 an organization up here in Cleveland. Um, it's, you know, to get better. It's a, you know, it's a place, you know, like a rehab, whatever you want to call it, um, to get better. But I'm not going to mention the name of it because it's in the, it's in their program. You know what I'm saying? And I don't want to, uh, disrespect or whatever their program, but he's a wonderful guy, this Dennis Eckersey, man. I mean, not this guy, he is. I mean, I met him quite a few times at golf, at the, the uh, golf outings. Um, but yeah, I play golf. Um. But at the time I met him, I didn't play. I wasn't playing golf. I just was there. But anyways, um, so there's a lot of good for the greater Cleveland area and for the people who have uh, an addiction problem, you know. If you have a problem, man, reach out to somebody, man. Don't be afraid to talk. Seriously. You know, the people are dying. I'm not going to say these kids because everybody says these kids are dying nowadays. And they're fed, all that. No, man, it's everybody, man. It's everybody. Everybody's dying. It doesn't matter. It doesn't discriminate. Addiction. Takes it whoever can you get. And once it gets a hold of you, man, you, you know, you either break that stranglehold or you don't. You know, so I've been lucky. You know, because I used to be bad. So, but I found a way that works for me. And you may have your way. What works for you may not work for me and vice versa. So, I'm, I, I, I just, I like my regimen. What I have, it keeps me busy. Because an oc occupied hands are an occupied brain. Well, not in this head, though, because you have to have a brain. But you know what I'm saying. So anyways, but uh, he does a lot. Of, back to this. He does a lot of good for the greater Cleveland area for the people who have problems as far as, you know, addiction is concerned. So so good job, Dennis. Um, Hideo Nomo. Smoking heat card. Look at that. It's a sweet card. Um, uh, let's see here. Oh shit, got a star rookie, Billy Wagner. Uh, Brooks Robinson. Now these are those painted like canvas cards like, man, these are so cool. There's like a whole series of these, man. Like, I mean, not a series, but there's like, I got a whole set of them. Andrew Benitendo, Tindo. I can't pronounce these names. He must be a good player, right? Must be a good player. If you can't pronounce the name, they're good. That's how I look at it. Um, Alex Bregman. And then Roger Maris. Now, if you see one. Before they are hanged. From doing their... I'm going to turn that down for a second. Uh, Liber Roberto Clemente. Now, this I got the, I think I got the whole series here. Thanks, Miami. <laughs> Thanks, man. Malat. Wow. Um, Walter Alston. Um, if you see one, like I said, hell, I may even just put this together and give it away, man, the whole set. I'd have to find out how many cards are in the, in this set, though. Because I think, I mean, if, it looks like to be a complete set. Uh, Mickey Cochran. You know what? That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to I'm gonna look this up and put this together and see if uh, it's a complete set. If it's a complete set, I'll be giving it away. Man, these things are crispy, too. Eddie Stanky. I don't want to say stanky. <laughs> He's stanky. He's stanky. <laughs> so, Joe Wood. Your word. Um, let's see here. Um, Al Simmons. I I really hope one of you guys, you people, you know this this the stuff I'm giving away, because this way I can get on the the new stuff I want to give away. Um, Tris Speaker. Grover Alexander. Roger Hornsby. Sounds like a musician. All right. Uh, Mickey Mantle. Uh, Lou Gehrig. These are really great cards. These are really, really good cards, man. Yogi Berra. I had a Yogi Berra Mantle split back in 1989. 
and I gave it as a birthday present. <laughs> yeah! How dumb is that? Dumb. <laughs> I'm sick over it to this day. I'll never forget it. Every time I hear Yogi Berra's name. Not Mantle so much, but Berra. Because Berra's car, you don't see too many Yogi Berra cards, man. Carl Erskine. Joe DiMaggio. Jimmy Fox. Uh, now we come back into the... Yeah, I bet you this is a small set. I'm going to look that up. and I'm going to count them and then, then I'll be giving them away probably. Um, Yon Mankata. I'm going to set these separate so I can... Oh, Indian! Fran, <laughs> Franz Milrai. Whatever happened to him? He's not with us now, I don't think. No. Yeah, I don't know. Um, ever since this whole 60 game... I mean, I, the Tribe won tonight. Woohoo! We won tonight. Um, we're, we're doing better. I mean, we're struggling a little bit there for a minute. And then we go down. Then we go up. You know, it's like a roller. Like, you know, uh, inconsistency. You know, it's just... This whole thing with this ep epidemic going on, or pandemic, whatever the hell you want to call it, you know, it throws a little toll on people's mind, not a little, a lot, and, you know, including players, they already have a certain degree that they feel they have to live up to, or they do live up to, now you add this stuff on top of it, We're wondering if anything you touch, or anybody you go by, or anything you eat, or anything you breathe, or, any, you know, how does this, deal? you know, some people are still confused on how you contract this thing, man, well, um, now the players have that added stress to them. So you got to give them their props, man. And it's only a 60-game season, so there's no... It's not like really... Uh, like 60 games, eh. It's not even a regular season. You, you know, who cares? Not just saying that any of these players have that attitude, but some do. <laughs> so I just, you know... I just uh, contradicted myself there. But uh, anyway, so it's just, you know... I don't know what the hell I'm trying to say. Um, Brandon Crawford. Um, Austin Meadows. David Peralta. Michael Pineda. Wow, this is great form right here. This, uh, Roberto Osuna. Look at this release form he's got, man. Weird, but effective, I would imagine. Freddy Peralta, look at the form on this guy here, man. I'm telling you, man. I love these pitchers that have form like that, man. There's nothing more just like... I mean, I don't know how to explain it. It's just like... I, I love pitchers who hold that etiquette. I'm sorry. I just, you know... Uh, Boon... What? Boon Jin Ru... Ru. Whew, man. He must be good. <laughs> I barely could say that one. Alright. Oh! Banger! Stefan Strasburg! Ah. <laughs> ah. Yeah. Yeah, he getting sent to the side. Yeah, if you ask for him, no, I'll give him to you. Juan Soto. Look at look at this release. Look at this swing release, man. Look at that. That is just like how the arm comes like this, man. I mean, that's a follow through, man. Like in golf, man. But golf, you don't let go of the club. I have a couple of times. <laughs> yeah. Heads up! <laughs> you gotta scream it, man. I'm decent, man. No, the li last time I played golf, I, uh, on a long nine, uh, was, I think it was Astrohurst. I, I shot a, a 42. You know, hey, if you could do better, good for you, man. <laughs> I mean, I, I'm not that good, but I'm, I'm a decent, I'm fair, long nine, 42, come on, man. 
Um, when I was 13, uh, down my uh, grandparents had a, 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 well, they still do kind, I guess you'd call it, whatever. But they, um, in Boca Raton, they had a course. Boca Raton's got a beautiful course. Um, I was 13. I shot a 47 on a 9 at 13. Now, to you, that's, you know, you got, they got these prodigy kids nowadays, man. They just, you know, they do a nine, uh, a, a nine course golf, uh, a nine hole golf course and nine strokes. <laughs> you know, they're incredible. But, you know, back then, that was 1980, man. You know what I'm saying? Just saying. Oh, and uh, last card is Zach Collins. All right. I'm gonna get going. I'm gonna process this one. I got I gotta put one together for you, for uh, tonight for tomorrow. But I got some other stuff I want to show you guys. I want to appreciate all of you that, that commented, but not commented on this yet. The giveaways. Um. Uh. Oh, and um, I appreciate everybody commenting. Everybody who views it. Thank you so much. Um, just your view matters to me, man. It really does. It's cool. It's someone in the world. It doesn't say you're at, uh, you know, confidential, whatever. I can't see, you know, views. I can just see the little eyeballs. And I appreciate it. And uh, all the all the people that send me stuff and I order stuff from, thank you for your support. It makes it kind of worth, well, not kind of, it makes it worth happening here. You know, if it wasn't for the giveaways, I wouldn't even have this show. You know what I'm saying? I wouldn't even have it. Period. Um, uh... So I thank you all for everything. Check out your senior citizens and um, keep your animals hydrated. Uh, watch your kids, please. Watch your children. I mean, it's so important, man. And uh, be good to each other. You know, I know you may not like somebody and you may not like your in-laws and all that good stuff, but now's not the time not to like. We got too much bullshit going on with this racism and prejudice and protism. <laughs> that all falls in the same category too and then you know we just got too much going on with you know politics that are going on in the White House right now and this little channel right here is for your escape so you can laugh at me not with me <laughs> that's why I'm here I'm your emotional punching bag so with that everybody take care and um, stay fearless peace